Tyler, I wanted to start with your legs. Um, well, how much of that was by design? And if you could walk me through the 15-yard the scramble uh, right before your touchdown, it was around midfield. You, you had to keep balance. Uh, just walk me through that play and, and what were you seeing uh, and just kind of the rush that you get on a play like that. Yeah, um, some of it's by design. Some of it's just uh, to seeing the play break down and, and getting what I can. Um, honestly, you know, we're doing uh, zone reads and stuff like that or inside zone football. And if, you know, if our uh, our key comes down and is attacking line of scrimmage, then I'm going to pull it. Um, so Coach Moran's done a great job of preparing us for that. Um, and then on that scramble, um, I knew the coverage they were in. It was one high. We had a, a route coming over the middle. I just didn't like what I saw. So I started to get out of there, uh, trying to avoid the sack and then get as much as I can. Uh, I was pretty tired after that. But, and then we called a, another uh, another run play. Um, ended up working out. They gave us a look that we weren't really prepared for, so I kind of had to improvise, but it, it felt good. Eric School, 247 Sports. Coach never tipped his hand in terms of who the starting quarterback would be until I think you got out there. When did you have an idea that would be the case, and did you feel like you had enough time to prepare for that? Uh, I just prepared like I was a starter. I, I think that's what every quarterback on the roster is doing. Um, the coaches have done a great job preparing us, uh, regardless of uh, who is it going to be. Um, to be honest, you know, I didn't – my mindset was is that I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go in every day and, and work to be that role. I mean, I still got to earn it. You know, nothing set in stone. Uh, every guy on our roster's got to earn their spot. So I think this, today was just a great step uh, in moving in the right direction. But we had a, a lot of stuff to get better on, and and nothing set in stone. You know, I'm, I'm everybody's job's at stake. Um, we're still trying to to do what we do and, and, and win a championship. Ryan Thorburn, the Register Guard. Tyler Mario said there's probably a couple throws you'd like to have back, but considering all new offensive line new starting quarterback yourself and, and a new offensive coordinator. Uh, did you feel like for a first game it was uh, pretty smooth? Yeah, um, yeah, that'd be correct. I'd say that, you know, there were some throws in the beginning I'd like to have back, and I think that's just part of uh, going into the first game, um, just trying to get the jitters out a little bit. Uh, but it honestly felt good getting in the groove there later. Um, the O-line played great, you know, for a whole brand-new O-line. You know, I was really, you know, I was really proud of those guys. They've been working their tail off. Um, they, I mean, they blocked – they blocked their butts off for, for sure. And, you know, obviously you saw the run game happen out of that. Um, I felt good. You know, we had a great relationship with our wideouts, just giving those guys a chance. So I was really proud of, uh, proud of what they'd done and uh, just trying to spread the rock, the rock out as much as I could. At Preem 247 Sports. Yeah, Tyler, you said it and Mario said it as well, that there's still plenty of areas to improve. I, I, I guess what's the easiest things that, that, to solve here? What are the things that you guys need to get better at quickly? Yeah, uh, that's turning the ball over, uh, making decisions, you know, when we don't – trying to force things into uh, too much. Uh, I had a couple of bad decisions over the middle uh, when the when they played coverage, you know, they dropped out of there, um, just trying to force it in too much and just got to hit the check a little bit. Um, obviously, there was one fumble that one, uh, Cyrus had in the, uh, in, in the middle of the game, but I think that was pretty uncharacteristic of him. I think a, a lot of the stuff that we did is just – it's just trying to create explosive plays and limit those turnovers um, and control the flow of the game. I think we did a great job of – of, of driving down the field and then honestly just finishing those drives. You know, we left too many, too much points on, on the board and, and then we got to get better going in this next week. Tyson Alger, the athletic. Your, your guys' final touchdown drive, it, it almost started with points left on the board with, with a near pick up the middle, but then you guys end up going nine plays, 76 yards, and that's really what iced the game there. Just coming back to the sidelines after kind of leading that type of drive, like how, how did you feel after that one? Uh, I felt good. You know, obviously, I think we've been we did a great job of, of controlling that tempo and, 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 and driving our way down the field. Obviously, uh, you know, that 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 first throw um, didn't didn't really want that to go there. Um, they played they played coverage out of there. So obviously glad, you know, nothing ser too serious happened there. And then <clears throat> the O-line just they they took full command of the other run game and and gave off, gave us opportunities uh, when we took them. And then I was really proud of uh, guys like DJ Johnson. You know, he hasn't played tight end. Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't know, maybe since high school or early college. And he, you know, he got uh, pulled up, asked him to, to step on the plate and, and he, he did amazing. So a, a lot of the young guys we had, you know, we're a really young team, but, you know, we're not playing like that. I think our preparation and our, our execution is re really what set us apart. I'm um, just going into it because, it, I mean, we don't care uh, who it is. We, we just got to prepare for the, the next opponent. AJ McCord, coin. Uh, so, Mara Cristobal said, you know, you guys started a little bit slower than you might have wanted and that you practiced this fanless feel as much as you could, but it was just a little different when you actually took the field tonight, took a second to sort of realize what kind of juice you guys needed to bring. 
what was it like in your first game without any fans and how proud are you of your ability to overcome that? Yeah, it, it was really weird, to be honest, running out uh, of the tunnel, you know, without the, the duck on the motorcycle and no fans in there. And, and honestly, it, we had to create our own juice. You know, that's something we talked about the entire week. You got to bring your own juice box. Um, so obviously, you know, you're never really anticipating it until, you, until you're actually in it. So I think we handled it well uh, after that first couple of drives of, of managing, you know, the flow of the game and, and just really creating our own juice because that's what it's going to be like for the rest of the season um, and, and who knows how much longer. So. Uh, I mean, we're just we're really blessed and, and glad to be able to play and, and do what we love. Aaron Fentress, the Oregonian. Tyler, one of the things that made Marcus and uh, Justin so good was their, their mental ability, their football IQ. You tonight, you know, your first game as a starter, looked like you were pretty sure about where you wanted to go with the ball for the most part. Where do you sort of see where you are in that respect, you know, the mental approach to being a quarterback? Uh, that's a, that's a good, a good point. You know, that's the whole key to the playing quarterback is, is knowing where you want to go with the ball and on time and making uh, quick decisions. Obviously there were some decisions, you know, that, that weren't good. And there's a lot of stuff that I let out there. Um, so I got to get better at that, but uh, I'm nowhere near their, uh, their level. You know, they're, they're veteran guys. I'm just trying to, to get better each day and, and do my job. Um, the coach has done a great job preparing us for those looks and, and what they play. And, and honestly, you know, you never know what they're going to play until we get out there. It's a whole new team. We're a brand new team, and, and, and it's just about executing on the fly and, and adjusting to it. Time for two more. James Krupia, the Oregonian. Tyler, how much had you gotten a chance to work with DJ? I know several of the tight ends were banged up, but just how much did you actually get to work with him uh, in the first team in practice leading up to the game? And, and how do you think he did? And, and what was his first game at tight end? Yeah, so I, I really wasn't working with him at all up until maybe – one or two days ago um, with the because he was running with the twos mainly. Um, so on, honestly, we had a great feel. I mean, we've only been, been working with each other in routes on air and after practice and stuff like that. Um, so, I mean, I wasn't really surprised on, on his capabilities and what he's going to do. So I'm, I was just really proud of, of how he's shown it and, and, and his hard work has really paid off because you know, going from DN to tight end, it's a big mental switch. You know, you got to learn the whole new nuances of the offense. So um, I'm really proud of all, of all those guys, guys like Cooper, you know, young freshman coming in in our 12 personnel. So uh, a lot of people had to, to step up to the plate and, and they did their job. Last question goes to Eric Scopel, 247 Sports. Micah had the one-handed catch. Johnny had the one in the end zone. They ended up overturning, but that was impressive. And I know Jalen had a, another one in double coverage that was, was tough. What, what kind of confidence did you, you feel with this group and, and the tough catches they're able to make for you? Yeah, you know, they just they have a, they play with a ton of heart. Uh, I always told them I'm going to give them the chance. You know, 100% of overthrown balls are incomplete. That's what Coach Moore had harps on. So. Um, if, the, if it's 50-50, it's our ball. Um, obviously, you know, we're granted, we're given the look, and I, I like our chances. So, you know, Micah, Johnny, and, and Red, I, I feel completely comfortable with them. Um, and obviously, some of those I had to, to throw away when there's pressure. But whenever, whenever we get a clean look, you know, I love our odds, and, and they've been playing their butts off.